centrally located warehouses, 12 million pounds of clothing are gathered for the people of war-ravaged Europe and Asia. Arriving from all parts of Canada, the clothing is sorted by grade and type. More than six million pounds of clothing have already been shipped by the United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Administration, and this important work goes on. After sorting, the clothes are compressed into bales to save vital shipping space. These garments of all sorts and sizes will save lives this winter in nations desperately in need of food, clothing, and shelter. Freight yards are clogged with traffic. Trains are stalled as a record snowfall blankets northeastern United States. The city of Buffalo in western New York state lies under 68 inches of snow after a four-day blizzard. The mayor has proclaimed an emergency, and every able-bodied citizen is called on to help dig out. Cars are half buried in drifts as street traffic is completely halted. At nearby Niagara Falls, Winter's mantle provides rare beauty for the newly married couples who traditionally come here on their honeymoon. Winter's blast leaves beauty as well as hardship in its wake. Sasebo Naval Base in Japan, Japanese warplanes are piled up for destruction. 33 aircraft of the beaten enemy air force are marked for swift demolition by American flamethrowing tanks. Under occupation regulations, Japan can neither own nor manufacture warplanes. Japan's weapons, like her dreams of conquest, go up in smoke. Large stocks of aluminum, originally earmarked for war purposes, are put to peacetime use to relieve the housing shortage in Europe and America. In these Canadian plants, the metal is rolled and shaped. On an assembly line, the houses are put together. Aluminum clapboards provide a strong, all-weather finish. Finally, the plumbing is installed in these completely prefabricated homes. As each house nears completion, the walls are folded in, as demonstrated by this model. At present, these houses are being made at the rate of 75 a month. This figure will soon be greatly increased. Folded for easy shipment, a complete house looks like this. Already in use in Canada, these modern prefabricated bungalows will go to help relieve the desperate housing situation in post-war Europe. California presents the latest in automotive design, a three-wheeled light car for touring. It weighs only a thousand pounds and is shortly going into mass production. The radiator grill is removable and the car's one front wheel makes maneuvering easy. Small tires help reduce the cost. The fenders are easily replaceable if damaged. Almost all parts are removable, even the plexiglass windshield. On the open highways, the car can travel at 116 miles an hour. In Manila, the 32-day trial of General Tomoyuki Yamashita nears its end. First Japanese to be tried for war crimes, Yamashita takes the stand. Before him, witnesses have presented harrowing evidence of atrocities committed under his command in the Philippines. 
Tiger of Malaya, Despoiler of Manila, Yamashita is given this opportunity to testify in his own behalf. According to the evidence, approximately 60,000 unarmed men, women, and children were killed in the Philippine Islands by men under your command. An interpreter repeats the question to Yamashita in Japanese. Do you deny to this commission that you knew of or ever heard of any of those killings? え、聞いていない。I never heard of nor do I did I know of these events. In summation, defense counsel claims that the crimes were committed without Yamashita's knowledge. When these atrocities occurred, they were committed in violation of General Yamashita's orders, and it's quite natural that those who violate a superior's orders are not going to inform him about that, either before or after the fact that they intend to do so or have done so. The prosecution sums up its case against Yamashita. We say that if Yamashita is responsible in any measure for the violations of the laws of war committed by the men under his command in the Philippines, Anything less than the death sentence would be a mockery. We therefore respectfully recommend that if the accused is found guilty as charged, the sentence be death. And in view of the aggravated nature of the crimes, in view of the measure of the crime, we recommend that the sentence, in the case of death, be carried out by hanging. For the last time, Yamashita is led into the court to hear the verdict in the 123 separate charges read by Major General R.B. Reynolds. That during the period in question you failed to provide effective control of your troops as was required by the circumstances. Accordingly, upon secret written ballot, two-thirds or more of the members concurring, the commission finds you guilty as charged and sentences you to death by hanging. Yamashita himself thanked the commission for the fairness of his trial. Execution of the sentence has been stayed, pending action on appeal to the United States Supreme Court. Meanwhile, Tomoyuki Yamashita, convicted in the death of 60,000 helpless men, women, and children, waits in prison. Mm -hmm.